Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. For all numbers k, the operation ampersand is defined by ampersand k equals k to the power of 2 thirds minus 1. We want to know what's greater, quantity a, which is ampersand ampersand 3, or 2. All right, well, a lot going on here, starting with this symbol. Have you ever seen this symbol in math before? Well, the answer is no, because I just made it up for this problem. And if you see a symbol on the GRE that you don't recognize, it's probably one of these questions. It's probably one of these function questions. And as scary as it looks, it's actually pretty straightforward. What does the ampersand mean? It means that when we take ampersand some number, so ampersand k, we're going to take that number, k, raise it to the power of 2 thirds and subtract 1. So for instance, if I took ampersand 1, that's basically just saying take 1 to the power of 2 thirds and subtract 1, right? If I did ampersand 2, it's 2 to the power of 2 thirds minus 1, and on and on and on. Okay. Now, let's look at what we have here because there's a little bit of extra spice thrown into this problem. It's not just one ampersand, it's two, but that, that shouldn't be a problem for us because we can find or estimate what ampersand three is and then take that and ampersand that, right? And we could keep going on forever and ever and ever. But even more basically, the, the shortcut on this problem is to recognize that this is a quantitative comparison problem you don't necessarily need to find the exact value. You just need to know if it's greater than or less than two. And there's a way to, to see that. Take ampersand three, right? Ampersand three is three to the power of two thirds minus one. So far so good? Three to the power of two thirds minus one. Now, my calculator does not have a cube root button. My GRE calculator does not have a cube root button. But I know that this number is less than three, right? If I raise something to the power of two thirds, if I raise an integer to the power of two thirds, it's going to get smaller. And if you wanna test this on a, on a normal calculator, go for it. But three to the power of one is three, right? So three to the power of two thirds is gonna be smaller than that. And since three to the power of two thirds is smaller than three and I'm subtracting one, already this number is smaller than two. So I'm, I'm gonna say, two minus already, right? And then if I take the ampersand again, it's gonna get even smaller than that. So I don't actually need to calculate this value. I know that it's smaller than quantity B. In this case, quantity B is the correct answer. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.